Hi, this is Lillian again. I'm talking about um, domestic violence. Welcome to my YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe so that you can be getting all the information you need. So about domestic violence. So ADIPA is a domestic violence group or a domestic violence information um, <coughs> uh, uh, information group that kind of helps you find um, information on how to get help when you have when you're going through domestic violence. So um, use this page to uh, share with your family or neighbor or anybody who needs help with domestic violence. So uh, make sure you subscribe so that anytime I put out a video, you're able to um, to watch. But today I'm going to talk about. Uh, a plan which is a uh, exit plan exit plan is a plan that you start having when you're going through domestic violence a lot okay. of the women okay. are not ready to leave so they have to get an exit plan an exit plan means you start getting your documents ready you start getting a plan even though you're still in the situation and you're not able to leave you start having a plan on who to call, where your children will go, your documents, what you need. So that's what an exit plan is. So make sure that you're able to get an exit plan for, um, for you when you leave. And <laughs> so... Uh, what is an exit plan? An exit plan is make sure you get your documents ready. Make sure you uh, you get your um, plan for your children. If you have children, uh, do not worry, especially if you're going to the women's shelter uh, in the United States. Uh, you do not need to worry about how they're going to go to school because they will make sure that your children are able to go to school. But make sure you have documents uh, like driver's license and all that so that you're able to social security card and all those, your bank information. Start preparing those kind of things. Why do you need an exit plan? A lot of women are not ready to leave at the time that... Um, they want to, you know, like they, they're not ready to leave because they're scared. They're not ready to leave because the abuser never leaves the house. They're not ready to leave because they're just not ready. They are scared. So uh, the best thing is to get with an exit plan. That way you, when the time comes, you go. Why is an exit plan uh, important? Because sometimes you end up in an altercation with your spouse. And then you ha you're told that you cannot go back in the house. So you need to have your documents. If you cannot um, keep those documents, you can take a picture of them and send them to a friend who you trust or to an email that you can access. And sometimes an exit plan is important because sometimes you're forced to leave the situation but when you're not ready. So, And I tell people who are not ready because a lot of women... They're never ready to leave the situation. So start, even if you know you're not ready to leave the situation, you're planning, you're thinking, you know, but you still don't know if you'll ever leave. So get an exit plan. And with that exit plan, make sure you have the 1-800 number for domestic violence, which is the national domestic violence number. It's on Google. You know, I didn't actually prepare for it. And also make sure that you... You, you maybe have numbers for the domestic shelters in your area or a friend who you can you can call for help. So make sure you get yourself an exit plan. Even if you're not ready to leave, sometimes you're forced to leave when you're not ready to leave. Get your exit plan. Get a few clothes ready packed if you can or if you can't, that's okay. The shelters always give people clothes. So... Uh, but make sure also you get, if you haven't filed for your green card and you're an uh, international, uh, you know, you're, 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 you're not from uh, America, make sure you get the social security number and the driver's license number for your spouse. That is important to know because when you file for VAWA, you will need, you need pictures, you need um, um, pictures that show that you guys were married in good faith. You know, like your marriage certificates and all those things. You need all that. 
you need a driver's license, you need social security number, you need the immigration papers that you filed, or if you know the filing number, mm -hmm. also keep that with you. But uh, that is some information that you may need, so go ahead and get that exit plan. Another thing that you may need is get, you know, one lady that I was helping the other day, she didn't get her certificates. She That was very important to her. So keep your certificates and all those things that, you know, like your degree or whatever, the cert degree certificates, keep them handy also so that if you're, if you're forced to leave, you know, you have them at hand. And so get your exit plan ready just in case. I know sometimes you may not be able to use it if you never leave. But if you're forced to leave it and you think you're in a bad situation, please get that ready. Make sure you have all the documents. You have uh, <clears throat> all the documents you will need to file. You need things that will prove that you are married legally to this spouse if you have not made your green card. You need that. You need to prove that your marriage was in good faith through pictures. You need evidence of abuse in order to file for VAW. Otherwise... Please make sure that you Dad. subscribe. Come tell them to subscribe for me, baby. Subscribe and get a good thumbs up. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay.